This video is for all you beginners out there that don't really know how to design but really want to make a logo yourself. I'm going to show you how you can make a Roblox game logo super quick with just a few minutes and really no experience required. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be using Photopea.com. It is a Photoshop alternative if you do not know. I make a ton of videos on this program and it is really good. So once you're here at Photopea.com, click on new project here. And for the dimensions, we're going to go with 1000 by 1000. Just type it in these boxes. And once you're done with that, click create. Then you will be welcomed with a blank white canvas that we can start to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on this layer right here, the background layer. Go to gradient overlay and check that box. Go ahead and click on that. And you'll see there's a gradient box right here. Click on that. Double click on this first square and choose your first color. I'm gonna go with a dark gray. And double click on the right box and choose a color. I'm gonna go with red. Click OK. Click OK. You can adjust these settings if you want. It is completely up to you. Once you're done with this, click OK. Now I don't personally play Roblox, so I have to look up these pictures, but if you play Roblox, go ahead and grab a screenshot in game using the snipping tool or whatever tool you use. Grab a screenshot, cut it out, and you can maybe get something like this, right? So we're gonna go with this car, the Ferrari. I love this one. Uh, I'm just gonna copy it and bring it into Photop by clicking Control V. Now it's here, and I'm gonna click Control, Alt, and T for free transform. Now there's gonna be boxes around the entire image. You can grab one of these and make it bigger or smaller. I'm gonna make it about this big and put it down here. Once you're done with this, click that check mark and you're done. Now we need to add some text. So go to your text tool on the left side of your screen right here. It should be a T. Go ahead and click on that and click anywhere on your canvas to start typing. I'm gonna type street for my first word. I'm gonna click Control A to select all of the text. Go up here and choose the color you want. I'm gonna go with white. Click that check mark. And now click Control Alt and T to free transform it again. And then grab one of the boxes and drag it. Or if you hover outside the box a little bit, you'll see it changes to like a bent arrow. Then you can actually rotate it. So I'm gonna rotate it like this and make it about this big right here. Click that check mark. Now I'm gonna click Control and J to duplicate it. Or you can go over here to the right side, right click on it, and click on duplicate layer. Now I'm gonna move the other one down right below it and click on it and change it to something else. I'm gonna go with racer. Click that check mark and I'm gonna move it around a little bit more. Like right here. Okay, looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to convert this to a smart object. So make sure you select both your text layers by holding control and clicking on both of them. Now they're both selected when they are highlighted. Now right click on one of them and click convert to a smart object. Once you do this though, you'll not be able to edit the text anymore and it'll become a solid layer. Click it. Now you can double click on that layer and go to stroke. All you have to do is check that box, click on that and adjust the size quite a bit. Okay, about right there is good. Now click OK. Now this next part might get a little confusing for you guys, but trust me, it's really easy. Go to your pen tool over here on the left side of your screen. Start about in the middle of the bottom layer. Click once. Go to this side. Click again. Go down here and reconnect right here. Now go up here and click shape. Make sure the color is black and click OK. Now all you want to do is right click on that layer you just made and click on clipping mask but make sure it's right above your text layer or this will not work now you can turn the opacity down quite a bit to about 15 percent and you'll see it's a nice subtle little effect right here to give it more depth now there's just two more steps and then we are completely done with this so next thing we're going to do is double click on our ferrari layer go to outer glow click that box first change the color to white and change the blend mode to overlay. Now adjust the opacity and turn it all the way up to 100%. And spread and size, just mess with those until it looks good. You just want a little glow. And honestly, I might turn the opacity down just a little bit. 
All right, so now it has a nice little subtle glow around it. Click OK. Now we're going to add a few more lights around this image and we will be done. Click on your top layer and then click on this button right here, the new layer button to create a new layer. Now go to your brush tool over here on the left side of your screen. And if you hold alt and right click, you can drag your mouse right and left to make it bigger and smaller up and down to make it more solid or more soft. Make sure it's as soft as possible and pretty decent size, kind of like about 400. Now go to this top box right here and choose whatever color you want. I'm going to start out with blue and click OK. Then you can kind of just put it where you want it like this. And I'm going to change this to red and put a red one right here. Now go over here, make sure it's selected and change the blend mode to color dodge, or you can change it to whatever other one you want, like screen. I think screen looks better and you can kind of just like click around and make the image look good. I don't know. It's kind of up to you, but I think that looks pretty good personally. Okay. So now a cool little tip I'm going to show you guys is click on your text layer, click control and J to duplicate it, click control alt and T to free transform it and then make this one a little bit bigger and move it over to the right a little bit. Now double click on the top text layer and check this R box right here. It'll give it a cool glitch effect and you can move it around to make it not so trippy like this. And then like the car, for example, you can do the same thing with the car, duplicate it, uncheck the red and then move it over a little bit. So it's honestly a really cool effect. Now I'm actually going to change this gray here to a blue so i'm going to double click on the background layer go back to my gradient and change the dark gray to a dark blue so i think it'd look better click uh okay and okay and okay all right so that's all you have to do it's super easy even beginners can do it if you guys want more complex tutorials just let me know uh they're gonna be longer videos but it'll be a better product um i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you found it useful if you did Leave a like and subscribe. Join the Discord if you're not in it already. It'll be a lot of fun. And that's all I got for you guys today. Have a good one. Peace.